wanna see a beautiful thing. I see it better, see it better, see it better. Just because I'm different skin, do you think I matter? Hello, everybody, and welcome to a vlog. I've got a cold sore because I'm so bloody run down. Joyous times. Cold sore is my thing. Like when I get one of these, I'm like, I need to listen to my body because it means. I'm very, very, very run down. Not that bad, thankfully, but I only worried it's off my head this morning. Last night, you watched me build my bedside tables. <laughs> Did them both. And really, 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 really like them. They're the ones I got from Lara Do. And now I just need to get two lamps that match. I'm going to TK Maxx in a little bit. I'm doing a, a sponsored Instagram post with them and some Instagram story stuff at their new Charing Cross store. It's not, this bit's not sponsored in the vlog or anything. But that's why I'm going there. And so I'm going to look at their homeware bit and see if they've got two nice lamps because I've been looking at lamps and all the ones I really like are really, really expensive. And I went to Ochre and they were all like 300 quid each once you put a shade on and I was like, God, I don't like this. I'm going to have to spend 600 quid for two at all. So I'm going to have a look there today and see what we find because I just want to get two, I think, colourful ones to go with this bedding. And I think I might get a different throw at some point as well because I don't really like that one anymore. But not in a rush to do anything like that. Um, and yes what day is today it's monday by the way just if you're wondering and also what has just arrived is tv stand from larry duke so we're going to unbox this now i'm hoping that because the size of the box it's pretty much built up in there pray to god i'm not building more stuff right now i've only got like an hour before i need to leave as well so fingers crossed so this is the rejig that i did basically moved the Luigi cabinet from under this light to there so it looks like this now this needs to be moved somewhere I don't know where and again everything will change when the artwork goes up on the walls which I still haven't decided where it's all going to go but what do you guys think did you prefer it where it was when it was against there the main thing is I realize I'm strong enough to be able to move it so I can move it around again if I need to um, but I think I like it there I need to send a photo to mum and she would see what she thinks. I ordered another Buffy book. That book there is Buffy season eight. And it's, there's four volumes of it. And that's volume one. I've ordered volume four. I cannot find volume two and three anywhere. So now that's become a life mission as well. It's like proper winter weather today. Really nice. Blue skies, really cold. Got my jumper on. Going to put my churches on. I'm going to show you my outfit actually that I end up wearing. And then it's like a half an hour walk to TK Maxx Hammersmith. So I'll head there and I'm pretty sure because when I was speaking to them about the job that I've just finished with them, they were saying the Charing Cross ones just had an expansion and been done up for the clothes stuff, whereas I think the Hammersmith one's been done for the homeware stuff. So I'm hoping to find some gems, but I shall bring you along. The battery's flashing on me, which also seems fitting for today. Got on a proper me outfit today. Lazy styling, really. Um, and other stories, checked blazer, totem jeans, these are my current favourites. Church's boots, black knit, which is from Marsh. This is me. It's cold today, like I said. I'm just gonna pop my Chloe bag on, put some sunglasses on, pop my headphones in, walk and clear my head for a bit by walking. Also, I've put up that Dylan print here and I really like how it looks. Actually, this is all looking very lovely behind me right now, isn't it? Just need to go shut, shut to this door. Oh no, oh, shut, some clothes. There we go, it should be looking perfect now. Beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. No lamps that I love. The most amazing massage in here, it's called Savant Spa, just really close to King's Cross and Euston would indulge a little bit and have a massage seems I'm a misery this week I <laughs> know on my way home to get through more work than is humanly possible in the hours I'm allowed for it but when there's a road either way I'm just gonna hop on the tube back to King's Cross head back there and pick up some stuff on the way home as well but yeah that massage was so good I really really recommend it there have two massages there now um, and like some people get very tense shoulders so it does make me feel a lot better Hello guys, I'm back home now. I've been back home for a while actually. Oh, this camera battery is like dying the second I charge it. Um, as you can tell, I'm having a no makeup day. Sorry about that. I ordered some lamps. <laughs> Good news in all of this. Um, let me find them so I can show you. They should come 
next week. I've got an off Truva, um, which from what I can tell is an online shop full of independent shops. Oh, we are very underexposed. There we go, much better for you to fully see my face. Um, let me find them now, here we go. They're from a brand called Madden Stolt, and these are them. I literally turned the camera on to show you and it died, so we're on my phone momentarily. These, two of these for bedside table lamps, not for the ones that are gonna go over here and eventually, just for bedside table ones. But I'm excited for them to arrive, they should come soon. And the more I look at this setup, the more and more I'm loving it. So I think I'm gonna stick with it. And I'm even considering putting, who remembers the print of Trapea that I have? And that was above my bed in my old flat. I even mean, ended up putting that there, which is a really different frame, a different vibe. But I think it might work, it's quite square as well. So it, I mean, it would sit higher than the top of the cabinet, but I think it might work quite well. So we'll see. Hey you guys, it is Friday morning now and this vlog has been very busy this week but I've got quite a lot I want to share today so I'm hoping it's still going to be really enjoyable. Really haven't had the best week, like I've just, just not been in a really good place this week so um, it's just why I've not really vlogged that much but I'm going away today, I'm going to the airport later today to meet my mum and my two cousins and we're going to Italy tomorrow to see Luigi. Um, I know lots of you guys really enjoy seeing it, but I'm actually not going to vlog it this time just because I really want to be there. I'm going to try and take some time off and not be on my phone all the time. I'm going to shoot loads of film though and just try and do stuff that's creative and filling in a bit of a different way. So I hope you guys don't mind that I'm not really going to be sharing anything that we're up to there. Um, I look, I have a pail. I might film my outfits and stuff. I'm gonna to pack today. I thought maybe I could pack with you so you could see what I was bringing. We're only there for three nights, so it's all hand luggage. So it won't be like a huge video of loads and loads of stuff that I'm packing. Just making myself coffee. Um, I thought maybe that would be interesting. Uh, there's no other new home updates, apart from that. I've never showed you the lamps that I ordered. Um, and there's nothing else that I've got other than that. I'm still really loving the setup of how the TV stand is now with this here. Lynn's came around last night and she said that she loved it. And I also want to show you guys this thing that I'm doing um, for an idea that I have. Let me go and grab the tripod so that I can properly set you up. And actually I've got some parcels we could unbox as well. I'm thinking of all sorts of things to do to try and redeem this vlog. Um, tripod. Oh, this room is just... A nightmare oh god this is so tangled yeah this room is a nightmare that's what she'll deal with when I um, have the desk which I think should be soon it's coming from Lara Dew and sometimes their things take a bit longer like the TV stand came from there as well obviously and came a lot quicker right let me pop you on the tripod okay you're on the tripod now another thing I want to talk to you about that I did yesterday was do my first ever styling job I did it for um, Daisy jewellery and I enjoyed it so, 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 so much. Like I was styling a model, it was all my clothes. That's how they asked me to do it because they said they were pulling a mood board together and they were pulling loads of photos from my blog. So then they were like, why don't we just ask Lizzie if she will do it and bring her clothes? And I loved it. I mean, once I can, I'm gonna share the images on the blog post. The model was amazing. And it so made me realize how much you miss not, I don't miss it because I've never actually experienced it, but having a day and working with people all day and everyone bouncing off each other and it being a team, like, I absolutely loved it. And the day was nine till six, which I know is a normal working day and I do work, you know, those sort of hours normally, but obviously because I work for myself, there's no structure to it. So like, I never look at my day and think I'm gonna be at my desk from nine till six. Like, today I was at my desk at 6.30, but then I've been to the gym for an hour. Um, I've got to go to town later, I'll do this for a bit, like there's no structure normally and when I looked at the call sheet I was like, I wonder how I'm going to find that like 9 to 6 and knowing I have to be in one place for those amount of hours, uh, which I know is like completely what everybody does normally for work, but I literally have never, I've done this, worked for myself since I graduated, so I've never experienced that. Um, and I was texting Lynn's about it. I was like, am I just gonna like come out in a rash and not know what's hit me? Um, I absolutely loved it, like it flew by, didn't look at the clock once, we got so much done so quickly. It was amazing working in a team. Um, so yeah, I really, it's something I really wanna do more basically. I really wanna do more styling work now and it made me think really differently about my clothes. I was putting outfits on this girl and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna wear that this weekend, that, that was really good. 
So I just felt really good about it and really enjoyed it. And then Linz came here and then two of the girls from Daisy came here. Um, who, that's Lara and Sally, they're like the loveliest girls. And I just had this idea of, some, of what I want to do for artwork above the sofa because I wanted something really, really abstract. And there's kind of a lot of like one line abstract drawings out there and stuff, or like, you know, you could get some Picasso prints or something like that. And one thing that we always used to do, me, Mum, and Harry a lot of time used to do actually, is this thing where you draw your face but with your eyes closed, tracing your face with your finger. So you basically go around your head and then mimic, sorry, you can't see this hand. So then you mimic what this finger's doing with pencil on the paper. And you have to do it in one line because if you lift your pencil with your eyes shut, you're not going to know where to put it again. So I thought I'd just get a group of mates, whoever's here, to do these on some pe like peachy pink cartridge paper with some charcoal and everyone write their name on the back and they're all gonna be crazy. So the four of us did them last night um, and I'm, just, I'm gonna just get loads of people to do it. So this is Lindsay's. Lindsay's with, Lindsay, oh, Lindsay, watching Lindsay draw is just like un unreal. She's un like dreadfully bad. I once watched her draw a horse and I've never seen anything like it. So I thought she was gonna be the worst but hers actually ended up being the best. This was Sally's. This was mine. <laughs> And this one was Lara's. I don't know if I said that right. Yeah, that is right. This one was Lara's. So I feel like in a black frame, obviously it's a really light pencil drawing. Um, in a black, Lara got pizza on hers as well, but it's fine. Um, just in black frames, and I could just build up the wall and get loads of people to do it. And I'm not even going to remember who everyone is either. Everyone's written their names on the back, but not on the front. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with this. I felt quite excited about that. I thought I'd show you that and then I'm going to get them to sort the frames out for them when I get back from Italy. Now, I have some parcels. Let's have a look. So, what is heavy, heavy, heavy. I have opened one, which was from L'Oreal. Um, the girl that I know at L'Oreal, her name's Lily as well, she's so lovely. And she like really knows what skincare stuff I like. So whenever she sends me skincare stuff, I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to try this. So she sent me some Vichy stuff, the Aqualia Thermal Brushies Serum and the Rehydrating Cream. They look like these. I haven't tried any of these products yet, obviously, as you can tell. Also from Vichy, the Radiance Active um, Night Peeling Care with Glycolic Acid. I'm using a retinol at the moment, so I need to Google whether you can use a retinol. I mean, using it once a week. Can you use a retinol and an acid, a glycolic acid, or is your face going to fall off in the night? Comment below if you know the answer to that. Never tried this brand, CeraVe Facial Moisturising Lotion. This one I'm sure we were talking about, I think this was the one that she said was just like the most simple um, moisturiser. So the moisturiser and also a hydrating cleanser from the same brand. So I'm really excited to try all of those. And then, oh, that's on the floor. Also from Skincare, so we've got some from Liz Earl. No idea what this is, it's quite a nice box. Um, oh, damn it, I have all this cardboard and I've missed the bins. Full ache, it's in here. Your skin, your story. To mark the launch of oh, the new cleansing polish, Body Gentle Mitt Cle Body Gentle Mitt Cleanser. Oh, body care. Interesting. There's a lot of packaging. So normal cleansing polish which I haven't used that in ages, but I really like it. I used to use it all the time. Um, actually, I actually haven't used that since I lived in Manchester. That's how long ago. But I really liked it when I was using it. I've got a lot of face washes on the go at the moment, so I need to start using them up. And then, this is the Body Gentle Mix Cleanser. Cleanser and Gentle Exfoliates a soft, smooth and moisturised skin. Hmm, so it's just like a body gel, a shower gel. What's the texture? Oh no, it's more like a cream. Oh, I'm excited to use that. Pop that in your shower. Thank you very much, Lizelle. So those are those two bits. Such packaging. Then very excitingly, 
have a dear Francis box. Jane's got some amazing boots out. As bloody always, some spirit boots in a few different colours this winter. These aren't spirit boots. These are, oh, these are called the Gem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, link them in the description box so that might be wrong. I'm pretty sure they're called the Gem and they're a Chelsea boot and they are amazing. I'm gonna wear these today, I think. So they've just got the elasticated side, like the spirit boots always have this line down the back and it's got that, this tab here. I love these. That heel, thank you so, so, so much, Jo. Ooh, this smells delicious too. Yeah, I'm gonna wear those today. So I'll let you know if they're comfortable, they will be because I've literally never had a pair of uncomfortable shoes from Dear Francis, ever. Ever, ever, ever. I also have a box from Andal Stories here, but I'm actually not gonna open this just yet because I'm gonna think about what videos I could do with the pieces in there. So I might hold off showing you what's in there. So that one coming soon, let's say, let's leave it to that. But yeah, that was a good little unboxing moment. Um, and now I've got a call in eight minutes, so it's midday. So I'm gonna take that call and then I'm gonna do some work and I'm moving into town to get a piercing in my ear. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come home and pack and then I'm gonna set off to Stansted Airport because we're staying there tonight because we fly super early and mum and Sarah and Helen, my two cousins, are driving down today. They'll be setting off in like an hour. So, but I'm not going to get there until a bit late so I'm just going to get so much to get through in the meantime but yes, that's the plan just walked all the way back from town which is like an hour's walk in these boots and they are so 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 comfortable hold myself up so I can show you them properly so comfortable literally like instantly so good, I would say my churches which are here where I left them last night are slightly slimmer on the foot but I have got really slim feet, so these won't stretch out loads. But if you had wider feet, I think you'd be fine with these. Like, there's room. These are a really slim shit, <laughs> Slim shitting? <laughs> slim fitting shoe. Uh, not a slim shitting foo. And you'd have to... You've got wide feet, you need to get them stretched. These you wouldn't need to. Like, there's space in there. But they look slim, because I have really slim feet but honestly so 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 comfortable also right before i left this came this bag from sophie hume god i've been sent a lot of stuff today it's incredible um it's called the bolts bag the dust bag is just here i've just taken it out a napkin from Pret in there um and it's just got these two bolts this is it i can't decide whether to take this to italy or my brown chloe bag i'm going to plan the outfits now and um then decide. I um, just have been editing this vlog and loads of chunks of footage are missing, like three bits of footage. So I noticed, like I say, that the, the TV stand's arrived and then the next thing I'm just telling you I've moved the cabinet before I'd show you the TV stand where the cabinet was before. I did film all that, but I must have accidentally deleted it or something stupid. I also accidentally deleted a section where I was saying that I'm sort of having a bit of a low time at the moment, which I know I said earlier today. Um, but I had said that again earlier in the week and I don't know whether this vlog makes sense now because I've lost that footage which just feels like a typical thing to have happened this week. Really frustrating, one of those weeks in a bad way. Um, the sun has just come out though and looks beautiful. So yeah, sorry about that. I think it, I've just like watched it through and it does all make sense. I just wanted to say that there has been some footage missing and I don't know what happened there. I think I might have deleted it by accident. Um, so yeah, this there was at one point the TV stand and the cabinet was where the picture is there But it's all still looking like this now and I'm still loving it I also just went and had a couple of piercings done the gold hoop above the uh, Thingy one and the, the third gold hoop here It's not it's just got normal gold hoops at the moment because of what they had to pierce with but once I've put all the earrings I want in once these have healed I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more but the two bottom earrings are all blues ones. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, we won't talk about that once everything's healed that I can put in what I want properly. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying earrings. The ones that I've been wearing with the like bobble ones all week as well, if the, if I've had blur, were links. I've had all blues and then links of London ones, but I've just put in two different all blues ones today. Um, yeah, not much else. I'm just about to start packing. 
Um, and I'll, I've actually got like two massive cases of clothes to unpack from yesterday. So I'm gonna sort of unpack and repack at the same time. Oh, the lamps arrived. I knew there was a reason I started vlogging. I didn't even start vlogging to tell you about the shoes and the bag and the earrings. Just had a lot going on today, haven't I? The two bedside lamps arrived. I need to see what you think. They're kind of smaller than I anticipated. So ignore this giant suitcase, but these are them. What do you guys think? So they kind of don't look small now because I, they looked small to me because when I brought them in the room and had the old black one which probably came up to like here whereas now I don't think they look too small at all what do you guys think they're like proper bedside tabley and then I think what I might do is get a new throw that is an orangey colour so that it makes sense but they're like a really nice quality this fringing bit's really thick and the velvet's really really lovely so I think they're keepers. I think I really like them. I just need to then change the throw to weave that orange in a bit more. But I like how cosy they feel and everything. So yes. Show you the boots again while I'm here. Oh, they're so good. Jane, you've outdone yourself. They are so good. So comfortable. Absolutely love them. This is the second case that needs unpacking. What do I look like today? Duh. Okay hey guys, just about to start packing. I've got my little notebook here. So, definitely gonna be taking my mango shorts, the navy blue ones with the tortoiseshell buttons. They're so comfy, just the best ever. Oh, the t-shirt that I want is in the wash. I'm gonna take a couple of black t-shirts, one of which is just this black one from Redone. Um, it's really, really, really soft and really nice. So I'll probably wear that with that and belt. Also, I'm going to take my white linen vintage Reformation trousers. I wore these quite a bit when I was in LA last time. So these are going to come with. Um, again, I'll probably wear those with a belt. And um, a white t-shirt which I have here, I have a Topshop one, and I'll probably pop in another one as well. I'm sure I kept another one out. I did, just an under the stories one here. What else did I write down? Um, I'm gonna take the brown shirt from Gestus that I have. This looks really cool tucked into stuff. Might wear that with the mango shorts actually. So that's gonna come with. Um, do, I'm going to take these black trousers to wear in the evening, the new and the story black tailored ones that I have uh, that were in a recent haul because they just look so good with everything and then I'm also going to take, I have like a reformation knit tank top, um, just this knitted black one, uh, I might wear an old black outfit at some point. What else do I write down? I'm gonna definitely take my Everlane shirt. Now I've only got one pair of, ow, one pair of shorts here and it is gonna be like mid 20s weather wise. So it's definitely shorts weather. Shall I take the Marge ones? The checked Marge ones? I'm not sure. I want to take those. Oh, I'm just so into trousers at the moment. I think I'm definitely going to take this um, totem striped shirt, which does have a bit of a mark on it, but this doesn't matter. I've got Marmite on it before I headed out in it once. I think I'll take that and I would wear that with something short. I just don't know what yet. Okay guys, so all packed, taking the essentials whenever you're sad, milk and honey and Catherine's book which I'm still working my way through. I'm going to take those two, my notebook, I need to put like charging leads in here. I'm going to put these on my feet when I leave instead of my dear Francis boots. Um, but yeah, all ready. I'm hoping this isn't going to be too heavy but it should be fine. I should get my laptop in it as well and stuff. And um, I've decided I'm going to take the Sophie Hume bag 
for, for this trip instead of the Chloe one just because I've shot the Chloe one a lot recently. And now the bed's a bit tidy, there's now some washing there, let's replace the suitcase. But I am really, really liking the lamps, so definitely just going to try and find a throw that sort of matches it. Does anybody love me? Not a single soul, so that's a relief. So I'm just going to go and put this footage on the computer now and then I can edit it on the train to Stansted. I've got to get the tube to Liverpool Street. That's why I kind of wait until post rush hour because I don't want to go on the central line for that long. And then um, on the train from there to Stansted Airport and have dinner with Mum, Sarah and Helen. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this vlog. I feel like, oh, the coleslaw's pretty much gone as well, but it's just a cut now. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're all a bit all over the place, but I have had a particularly trying week this week. And um, like so behind my emails, I'm just looking at them now like, oh. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this footage on. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this vlog though. Um, I'm thinking today has hopefully redeemed it a little bit. Uh, let me know if you do want to see the outfits that I'm wearing in Italy or if it's kind of a bit meh because they're going to be a bit summery and we're more here for the autumn winter inspiration aren't we so let me know whether you want me to bother or not because if you give me the green light to just say don't bother just chill I'm going to be like okay I won't argue with you on that one but I will shoot lots of film and stuff just pack three rolls of film um, but yeah thank you so so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one